Hello everyone! Today we're going to be talking about a new and exciting energy storage technology that has the potential to revolutionize the way we store and use energy. Polyjoule batteries. These batteries are made using sodium, a more abundant and less expensive element than lithium, and have the potential to be more affordable, have a longer lifespan and be safer than traditional lithium-ion batteries. Polyjoule is a French startup that is at the forefront of this technology and is working to bring sodium batteries to the market. But what exactly are these batteries and why are they so exciting? In this video, we'll dive into the details and explore the potential benefits and challenges of polyjoule batteries. So, if you're interested in the future of energy storage, grab a cup of coffee and let's get started. Before anything, let's understand what a polyjoule battery is. Polyjoule is a French startup that is developing a new generation of rechargeable batteries. These batteries are made with sodium instead of lithium, which is more abundant and less expensive than lithium. Sodium is also lighter and has a higher energy density than lithium, which means that the batteries can store more energy in a smaller space. Additionally, sodium batteries are considered to be safer than lithium batteries, as sodium is less reactive and less flammable than lithium. The company claims that their sodium batteries have the potential to be more affordable and have a longer lifespan than traditional lithium-ion batteries. However, sodium batteries are still in the early stages of development and it will take some time to determine their actual performance and commercial viability. It's a big deal because with renewable energy sources like solar and wind, we often get an intermittent power supply. So it's important to have a way to store that energy for later use. Up until now, most people have been using lithium-ion batteries for energy storage and transportation. But there are some downsides to these batteries, such as their cost and their tendency to be volatile. That's where startups like Polyjewel come in. Polyjoule, a Boston-based startup, is taking a new approach to energy storage solutions. Instead of using lithium-ion batteries, they are using conductive polymers, which are plastic-like, non-metal organic compounds that can function as metals when it comes to charging and discharging energy in a battery. These polymer cells reportedly perform well in tests, with 12,000 cycles at 100% depth of discharge. The battery cells are designed for stationary power applications where things like safety, lifetime costs, and environmental impact are important factors. According to the company, their conductive polymer cells have the potential to offer better performance than traditional lead-acid batteries and better service life than lithium-ion batteries. And the best part? These batteries don't need active temperature control and can be used for utility and industrial purposes like power conditioning, peak shaving, and frequency regulation. I hope this gives you a better understanding of what Polyjewel is all about and why they could be a big player in the renewable energy game. What are the advantages of polyjoule batteries? Polyjoule batteries have several potential advantages compared to traditional lithium-ion batteries. One of the main advantages is that they are made using sodium, which is a more abundant and less expensive element than lithium. Sodium is also lighter than lithium, which means that the batteries can store more energy in a smaller space. Additionally, sodium is considered to be a safer material than lithium, as it is less reactive and less flammable. This can make sodium batteries a good choice for applications where safety is a concern. Another advantage of polyjoule batteries is that they have the potential to be more affordable and have a longer lifespan than traditional lithium-ion batteries. Of course, it's still early days for this technology and more research and development is needed to determine the actual performance and commercial viability of these batteries. How about the disadvantages? While polyjoule batteries have several potential advantages, they also have some disadvantages that need to be considered. One disadvantage is that sodium batteries are still in the early stages of development and have not been widely commercialized. This means that there is limited data available on their performance, reliability, and long-term viability. Additionally, the technology is relatively new and may require significant investment in order to bring it to market. Another disadvantage of polyjoule batteries is that they may not be as efficient as traditional lithium-ion batteries. Sodium is a less reactive element than lithium which could result in slower charge and discharge times, and lower energy density. Finally, there may be some challenges associated with the production and recycling of sodium batteries, which could impact their cost and environmental impact. Overall, while polyjoule batteries have some promising advantages, more research and development is needed to determine their full potential and limitations. How do polyjoule batteries perform compared to Tesla's 4680 batteries? Polyjoule batteries and Tesla's 4680 batteries are two different types of batteries that have different properties and applications. Polyjoule batteries are made using sodium, which is a more abundant and less expensive element than lithium. Sodium is also lighter than lithium, which means that the batteries can store more energy in a smaller space. 
Sodium batteries are considered to be a safer material than lithium, as it is less reactive and less flammable. Polyjoule is a French startup that is developing this technology and claims that their sodium batteries have the potential to be more affordable and have a longer lifespan than traditional lithium-ion batteries. Tesla's 4680 batteries, on the other hand, are lithium-ion batteries that are designed specifically for electric vehicles (EVs). These batteries are larger in size than traditional lithium-ion batteries and have a higher energy density, which allows them to store more energy and increase the range of EVs. They also have a lower production cost, thanks to Tesla's investment in advanced manufacturing processes and technologies. Additionally, Tesla's 4680 batteries have a cylindrical shape that is designed to be integrated directly into the vehicle structure, which saves space and improves the vehicle's overall efficiency. In summary, Polyjoule and Tesla's 4680 batteries are different in terms of their technology, materials, and applications. While Polyjoule batteries have some advantages in terms of safety and cost, Tesla's 4680 batteries are specifically designed for EVs and have been optimized for energy density and production efficiency. What would it take for Polyjoule batteries to be the future of batteries? For Polyjoule batteries to become the future of energy storage, several key factors would need to be in place. Here are a few of the key considerations. Technical Feasibility Polyjoule batteries would need to demonstrate that they are technically feasible and can deliver on the promise of higher energy density, longer lifespan, and greater safety compared to traditional lithium-ion batteries. This would require extensive testing and validation to prove the performance and reliability of the technology. Commercial Viability Polyjoule batteries would need to be competitive in terms of cost and performance compared to other energy storage technologies. This would require significant investment in research and development as well as the establishment of a robust supply chain and manufacturing process. Regulatory Support Governments and other stakeholders would need to provide regulatory and financial support for the development and deployment of sodium batteries. This could include tax incentives, subsidies, and other policies that encourage the adoption of the technology. Market Demand There would need to be a significant demand for sodium batteries from a variety of industries, including automotive, renewable energy, and consumer electronics. This would require building awareness and understanding of the benefits of sodium batteries and overcoming any perceptions of unfamiliarity or skepticism. Infrastructure Finally, there would need to be an infrastructure in place to support the widespread use of sodium batteries, including a network of charging and battery swapping stations, as well as recycling and disposal systems. For polyjoule batteries to become the future, it would require a combination of technical, commercial, regulatory, and market factors as well as the development of a supportive infrastructure. As it stands, with what we know, can polyjoule batteries be the future? At this point, it is still too early to say whether polyjoule batteries will become the future of energy storage. While the technology has some promising potential advantages, such as lower cost and improved safety compared to traditional lithium-ion batteries, there are also significant challenges that need to be overcome. These include demonstrating the technical feasibility of the technology, establishing a robust supply chain and manufacturing process, and building a supportive regulatory and market environment. Additionally, polyjoule batteries are still in the early stages of development, and more research and development are needed to fully understand their performance, reliability, and long-term viability. It will also be important to compare the performance of sodium batteries with other energy storage technologies, such as advanced lithium-ion batteries, to determine which technology is best suited for specific applications. While there is potential for polyjoule batteries to be the future, there is still much work that needs to be done in order to realize this potential. It will take time and investment to fully develop the technology to determine its commercial viability. So, that's all for today's video on polyjoule batteries. We've talked about the potential benefits of this new energy storage technology, including lower cost and improved safety compared to traditional lithium-ion batteries, as well as some of the challenges that still need to be overcome. Overall, while it is still too early to say whether polyjoule batteries will be the future of energy storage, there is certainly a lot of excitement and potential surrounding this technology. It will be interesting to see how it develops over the coming years and whether it can live up to its promise of revolutionizing the way we store and use energy. Thank you for joining me on this video. I hope you found it informative and engaging. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more great content. Until next time, take care and keep learning.